In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your downstream oxygen sensor on your Toyota Camry. It's located on your exhaust pipe underneath. We're going to start by pulling the carpet forward towards you and underneath the pedals. There's some Velcro up here that's going to undo as you pull. That's that sound. And as you do that, you're going to pull down here. You may have to pull this out. There is a little piece here where it's hooked in. So you're going to pull this out, unhook it. Right here. And you're just going to pull it away. So over here, when you put your seat all the way back, what you're going to need to do you're gonna see down here where the wire is. The other connection is behind the seat. When we push the seat all the way forward, we're gonna be able to access that. So now here's the grommet I was speaking of. And you are going to take your trim tool or a flathead screwdriver, maybe both, depending on how stuck in there it is. So what we're gonna do is get underneath this grommet best way you can. Once you get that lip pulled away, you can get your trim tool in there. I'm going to pull that grommet out and that's going to free up the wire. Underneath here, there's a wire that goes underneath and goes into the floor. That's where that grommet is underneath. So we're going to have to take that out as well. But first, we're going to go to the connector behind the seat. Before doing anything behind in the back seat, you're going to push your seat all the way forward. And if you have a power seat, you're going to lift up the seat all the way up and the backing of the seat push all the way forward. Pull back your carpet. And then there's a little flap here. You're going to pick this up. And right in there is where the O2 sensor connector is. At this point, you're going to slide this connector out. As you can see, ours is broken. So you can better handle this to disconnect it. You're going to push in on this button here and pull that apart. Now you're going to push this connector up into the side of the chair, the seat. Once it gets past this bar the chair rides on, you're going to go back into the front, put your seat back, and get it ready to come out of the floor. So now I'm sitting in the passenger seat and I have my carpet pulled back. I'm going to pull out my connector. Just remember where you got it. And then we're going to take it out of the floor over here. To do that, you're going to push back on the rubber thing and just push down. And it should poke through. Once you get the grommet out, you can push it through all the way. And just feed that wire down. I would do it from up top, feeding it through, just so you don't get snagged on anything. It's a pretty long wire. And now we're going to go underneath and take the O2 sensor out of the exhaust. Underneath, we're using a special O2 sensor socket and a 3 8 ratchet with a long handle. I'm going to crack it loose. The best way to crack these loose is to do a quick snap and tug. Once you crack it loose, it should just come out. And take it out. You're going to want to clean that up a little bit. Just using some emery. Little tech tip here I like to use a little painter's tape 
and wind up my wire before install so it doesn't get all wrapped around and get damaged. I'm gonna put it in. It's already have some sealant on there. Get it hand tight. All right, so now we're gonna tighten this up. Careful when you put your socket over it. I'd say snug it up. Make sure you crush that washer that's on there. Once you feel that crushed down, you're just gonna go a quarter of a turn. And that should be good. Now we can take our painter's tape off. And we're gonna feed our cord through. So you feed that cord through the grommet as well. And then you're gonna put this in like this. There's a little lip and you're just gonna pull down and make sure it's secure in the floor. RO2 sensor doesn't come with a grommet so you're gonna need a zip tie. It's like this that can stick into that hole so you can secure your wire. Now I'm gonna feed my wire through to where it came from, which is between the seat which is between the seat and the center console. But make sure you're underneath that carpet. And then you're gonna go underneath that second carpet and feed it down under the seat. At this point, I am going to wire tie it here by picking up all the slack on this end. I'm going to get it started where I can reach. I'm going to put this in the hole and then I'm going to tighten it and cut it after I have installed the connector behind the seat. All right, we're going to connect our connector now. Make sure that you line up the connector the right way. There's a horizontal piece, piece of plastic in there that lines up with this horizontal piece. And then these two lines line up with these two lines. Plug it in correctly so you don't break it. Make sure you hear that click. And then we had to go ahead and replace our plastic piece that attaches to the body of the car to hold this still. If you did not have to, don't worry about this. So make sure your connector is secured to the body and then just put your carpet back. So now that we have our wire and we have enough length, I'm going to tighten up my zip tie over here. Keep that stable and cut the tail off with some wire cutters. Now I'm on the driver's side and I'm going to start putting my carpet up underneath this plastic piece. You want to get this corner in first. And slide it towards the back. And as you do that, you're gonna take a little bit more and work your way to the pedals. You definitely wanna get that lip in first before you start getting it all in. Once you get to this point, you're gonna go underneath the pedals and push it up. Make sure that your gas pedal, there's nothing under it or bunched up. It'll be dangerous if you leave it like that. And make sure everything's all secure and you should be good to go. 
and only the best will do? Demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.